Hey everybody, it's me, Dio Gen Z. We're gonna start off this super indie summer spectacularly with World of Goo. We are going to create a new profile. Yes, I had already recorded this, but no, you could not hear my audio. The game audio dwarfed it, but I found some new volume settings. Not within the game, but uh, within my own control panel. So now everything should be swell with the sound. And let's go up. The point of World of Goo is to, as you will see here in a moment, take these guys, these little goo balls that are tar looking and sticky, and lead them up to the pipe. It's kind of like a glorified Mario mission where Mario has to go through many different pipe works being a plumber to get to the end of the level, but the more goo that you can collect in your World of Goo Corporation vat here, the better off you'll be. There are things called OCDs, which are pretty much achievements in the game. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder Achievements. And they act as motivation for you to do certain things like collect all the goo or collect them in a certain amount of moves. So in five moves, get to the end of here. I don't know if you could do it in five moves. But this guy, the sign painter, from across a small divide, another mysterious pipe appeared up in the sky. Its opening looked warm and inviting. The goo balls seemed to wonder where it might lead. The sign painter. He'll give you tips wherever you are, whatever level you go on to. So I recommend you read them. And for the sake of this Let's Play, we will read them for comedic purposes. Because some of the things that the sign painter writes... No! ...are just pure ridiculous. And I cannot believe that I lost a goo by dropping it. So that's uh, something you don't want to do. Yeah, my guide also shows you the hows and how not to's of World of Goo. And I'm sure that you can do much better than me. And hey, if you can record a video, I invite you all to post a video response below. Okay, so not the most stable bridge. It's kind of bouncing around. Don't know if you want to have a 18-wheeler on that, but it works. It works. It's good for Goo, then it's good for me. Hang low. Had to go up high, now we gotta go low. Wake up the sleeping Goo. Aw, oh, they're all nipping. How cute. This cave looks like it's been undisturbed for thousands of years. Until now! were the disruption. When the pipe broke through the ceiling above, the sunlight must have blinded these rare albino goo balls. They didn't seem to notice when it began to snow. Maybe they would wake up if they had something to jump onto. The sign painter. Yes, I know, because every day I don't have an alarm clock. Oh no. I just have a pogo stick next to my bed. Something that makes me want to just jump out of bed. And that's what these goo guys need to. Now I have a strategy of waking all these guys up, but let's see. I don't even think that applies here. Well, I guess it does for this little guy. In order to push over all the sleeping goos so that they wake up, use the already awakened goos that are not in the structure. Oh, I can't believe I did that. And put them on said structure. Now, once these little guys are applied, they cannot be taken off, but we will encounter goo that can be removed and placed elsewhere, and those guys are my favorite, but this is not them. The albino goo are pretty cool, too. I don't really know if they are blind. Might be. I actually learned in biology this semester that albinism is a uh, genetic effect. It's uh, a matter of a gene turning on or off to say if there's going to be a code for color, so who knows what color these goo could have been, but their genes said, nay, you will not have color. This game is made by the production company 2D Boy, but specifically Kyle Gabler, 
and I highly recommend if you get this game, you also seek to purchase the soundtrack as well. <gasps> but the ground shakes. World of Goo Corporation is open! Oh my god, let's go shopping! It's unlocked. But you, the viewer, may ask, what is the World of Goo Corporation? Well, let's take the shortcut there. World of Goo Corporation, exciting innovation in the Goo product. Well, simply this. All the goo that you collect throughout the game will be stored here. So we only did a couple of levels. We only have a couple of little goo balls. But that's fine. Basically, we get these guys all throughout the level. And we try to see how large of a structure we can make. How high up we can go. Now, I don't have Wi-Fi right now, so I can't see who is up in the clouds. But if you are connected to the wonderful internets and you have this game, you'll be able to see clouds of people's progress, how far they've gotten their goo-ball structures, and it acts as a motivation for you to go up far higher than you thought you could before, just to see who the next cloud could be. Alright, so this is where things start to get a little tricky, and we have to use bouncy goo flex mechanics very carefully we must because if we bounce ourselves into these turning gears at their rapid pace we will be shred and loss of goo is no good however we have these time bugs here which they go right back in time when you click on them they go back one move but what does the sign painter have to say about all this the goo balls were excited to explore the mysterious pipe system even if it meant traversing ridiculously contrived terrain. One of the goo balls seemed to say he felt like an armadillo. Moo! Love the mysterious sign paper. Paint paper? Painter. My goodness. Wow, so. I did not know that armadillo's mood. That is uh, quite interesting. We have kind of a bouncy structure here. Let's see if we can get some more sustainability in this here by bracing against the mountain oh no don't stay down there uh oh <gasps> wow I can't believe I saved him I have to be careful of that and that's why I recommend if you get this on Steam like I have here now then you should really play with a USB mouse if you're playing on a laptop I tried it with my touchpad but it's uh, it's no good for a really quick goo movements. You need to react quickly when you are juggling goo here, making towers and bridges and all these things. We have docked onto the land above, where the sleeping goo lie. That's very good. None lost in the gears. So you need very quick click motions. This game is also available on WiiWare for ten bucks. That's actually where I got it first. I gotta wake up these other sleeping goo. Uh, but, oh wow, that actually put down the pipe. <laughs> Didn't make it accessible. But it's uh, it's very enjoyable on WiiWare. But I do recommend getting it on Steam if you have the computer capable of running it. It doesn't take really too much. It's a nice, simple indie game, but it is very great and atmospheric and unique in its graphics and soundtrack. Like I said, I recommend the soundtrack highly. But the main reason you'd want to get it on Steam, the main reason you'd want to buy it on PC, even if you just get the EXE from the main uh, Kyle Gabler 2D Boy website, is because it gives you access to mods. So once you're done with the main game, which is uh, it's a good length, gives you a lot of challenge for the amount you have to pay. Open the gates and fly, monkeys fly! But don't forget about me, okay? Sincerely, the sign painter. So these are goo balloons. Goo balloons! Goo balloons. And pretty much just have to open the gates. Oh no! We're losing altitude. 
and make way for your goo structure to go faster onward to the pipe perfect now I think for this OCD it wasn't get all the goo up there because that's easy it was do it in a certain amount of time which I'm certain we did not achieve but it gives you all that it gives you your time how many moves you did the goal and how many you actually collected and that lets you know that your uh, goo is building up in the corporation that's why it leads to the world of goo corporation piping and it tells you plus however many you've gotten so let's switch back and forth back and forth back and forth on this bifurcation path here and go to the ivy towers next brace yourself because this is my favorite type of goo these green structure goos that can be mixed and matched and replaced in wherever they are but let's see what the sign painter says a new species of goo ball i must say they look quite beautiful maybe they have comment commitment anxiety i'm not sure but it looks like they can be easily detached from each other the helpful sign painter if a goo ball falls into a well 10 meters deep and climbs up three meters each day but slides down two meters at night will he still look fabulous in the morning maybe if he were to brace himself against the walls as hard as he could and believe in the power of friction he could leave the ground behind your friend the sign painter so big clues right there first of all these guys can be mixed and moved around so they are not stationary in the structure which is pretty nice because up until now we've been dealing with the black goo that once you place them you can't replace them with any other goo in the structure but these guys oh epic fail but these guys oh no can be braced and pushed off these walls to climb upwards to the pipe I'm making a mess of a structure here but we'll see how it works We must believe in the power of the fabulous goo. Apparently, it's fabulous. So says the mighty sign painter. I do wonder if we'll ever meet the sign painter. So there are really cool mods on here. Once you're done with this main game, like I said, it gives you a, a good amount of content for what you are paying. And if you get it on a, a Steam sale or in a humble bundle type deal, which often go on with indie games, you could probably even get it for cheaper. And then it's infinite content from there. There are so many World of Goo forums that do custom goos, so they make different types. These guys and others that we'll see along the way are not the only ones in the modding community. I think I've seen Fiery Goo and all kinds of cool stuff. Custom maps, custom puzzles. In the world of modding, gaming is infinite. I think that's truly what is making me go towards PC gaming faster than anything else. Not even because I am not super impressed yet with what the Wii U can do. But uh, just the infinite modding and community aspect of PC. That's what I think I like about it the most. Now this is my favorite about these goos is that usually at the end you can get every single one except for one usually resulting in the OCD achievement which I said I don't strive for but sometimes I may get accidentally mainly I'm trying to get all the goo I can so our world of goo corporation structure could be huge at the end of this let's play but if you can get those triangle of goo or just a stick of goo to hang from the pipe you can get pretty much all of them except for one but that's the max that you could get on this level so it'll tell you how many extra we got <laughs> the goal was two we got all 16 I think you can see how many more we have to play with now onward Fisty's bog not too high not too low Fisty's bog. Who's Fisty? Well, he's a mechanical frog. 
Fisty swore he would never be like those tadpoles that grow up and shoot colored gems out of their mouths. But he wondered what it might be like, the sign painter. Okay, so in the bog of Fisty we have these familiar balloon goo balls, and of course the ones that we've had since the beginning, the black goo. Now if you would observe your surroundings below and above, you'll see that it's a delicate balance. Not too high or not too low, just like it said in the beginning. We have to carefully angle where we put balloons. Uh oh. Oh no! And when we place goo. Because one misplacement can throw the balance terribly out of order. Okay. Gotta be careful because if you go too high. <gasps> no! Get up there. There you go. Oh my goodness. There. We'll keep more back here. Whew. It is a delicate balance, but thank goodness for time bugs. Let's see. Ugh, we're so close. Yet so far. Oh no. Yes! We connected the chain just in time. Whew, and got a couple of extra goo. So as you're starting to see up one path of the Y connect, disconnect of this goo, you get to try these flying balloon puzzles. And on the bottom, we work with the sticky goo in the tumbler. We must keep growing, growing our goo muscles. Ow! If we don't grow our goo muscles all the time, we'll never get to the pipe. Ow! Some windows are bigger than ours. Look at each area's menu for more important information with distinction. Sign painter. Ow! Okay, I can't do that the whole entire time. It's not Arnold's LP, it's Dio Gen Z's. But we must keep growing like a massive katamari that won't stop. We must grow higher and larger than this tumbler can throw us for a spin. Oh, we're so, no, almost there. And then it turns us all about. But it's our favorite friends, the replacement goo balls of green. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. No! All the goo were going too quickly, I couldn't get to make a uh, triangle connection. Hopefully we still have enough goo to do it. Yes! Successful! Once you get that triangle, you are good. You do not have to worry about growing anymore. You just have to pick the goos up and place them in the triangle. Pick the goos up, place them in the pipe. So many good goo to play with. It's a shame that in the World of Goo Corporation, it does not show you what goo you collect. They all, I believe, turn into black goo. I think. Actually, we'll, we will take a trip to the corporation after this, and we will see about that. I want to know if you get black goo, green goo too, because those guys are replaceable. You can move them around any which way you like. Wonderful. All right, survey says, wow, plus 47 goo in just that short amount of time. Exciting innovation in the goo product. Yeah, see, they all get converted. As you complete levels, the extra goo balls you collect are sent here. How nice to see them again, although they seem to have lost their essence. This must be World of Goo Corporation Sleek New Campus 2.0. They say employees are given free cereal and they ride to meetings on scooters. World of Goo Corporation executives say this area is infinite in all directions. And if you look hard, you can see other people here too. Building towers off in the distance. Strange, everyone just wants to build up. What's up there anyway? Some kind of metagame? See you real soon, the sign painter. Well... With that exit by the sign paper, I sign, I keep calling him sign paper. 
He is the sign painter. I think he wrapped it up for us. Uh, in the next episode, we will continue on traveling through the level, the goo-filled hills, and get to the end. I will see you guys next time.